Yo, Adam Saxon here with Guy in a Cube, and in this video, we are going to look at how we can work with JSON data and Power BI. Stay tuned. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. If you're not familiar with JSON data, JSON is a JavaScript object notation, and really it's a way of formatting data in a way that is both easy for humans to read and write, as well as for machines to interpret and to parse. The JSON format's been around for quite a while, and there are a lot of different cases where you will run into JSON data. From a Power BI perspective, where you could run into this is in the use of our REST APIs. You can also run into JSON format if you're trying to get data from the audit log or from the O365 management APIs. Those are both places that will provide a blob of data which will be in the JSON format. You'll also find JSON formatted data when you're working with other things within the Azure services. So for example, if you're using Cosmos DB, an option for that would be a JSON format. So that's what JSON is. And I've had quite a few questions come up from time to time regarding, hey, what's an easy way that I can actually parse this inside of Power BI? I've had this go as far as someone mentioning that they were crafting their own parsing mechanisms inside of Power Query to break out the JSON data. And I can tell you there is an easier way. This is actually just based from some of the questions that I've gotten. This is probably the best kept secret or one of the best kept secrets inside of Power BI because every time I show someone this, they're like, oh, wow, that was easy. And it is. Without further ado, you know how we like to do it. Let's jump over to the computer and take a look. So I've got a bunch of data here from the Office 365 audit log. And one of the columns in here is called audit data. And if we look at that, we can see that it's just a blob of JSON data. I can copy that and I've got a little website here that will format this for me. And if we process that, we can see that this data is inside. I've got ID, I've got record type. I've just got a lot of properties here for the data that was inside of a given audit record. So let's go ahead and we'll go back to, so we've got this data. Now it's a question of how do we actually get this into Power BI so that we can format this right? So let's give it a try. So with inside of Power BI desktop, I can go to get data and we're gonna go to text CSV and we're gonna go to my desktop where I've got my audit log file. Let's go ahead and open that. And by default, when I pull this in, if I just go to, let's go to edit and we'll do some cool stuff to get rid of these first couple of headers here. We're gonna get rid of the first, we're gonna remove the first line. And we'll get rid of that first row. And then the second row there, or the first row now is gonna be our header. So we're gonna use first row as headers and that's good to go. And then what we'll see here is we'll see our big blob of data here. And if we just go ahead and pull that into our data model, it's just a big string, right? So how do we parse that? So the big secret here is if I go ahead and right click and I go to transform, I can then choose JSON. And when I do that, it's gonna convert this to a record in itself, at which point now I can expand the data and I can pull in the rows that I want. So in this case, let's say I just want, uh, let's go ahead and pull, maybe I just want workspace name, I want data set name, workspace ID, data set ID, data connectivity mode. So there's a couple things in here I can just grab and we'll grab user ID. So let's go ahead and hit okay. And then boom, these are in there. And then I can rename these columns. I can do whatever I want with them. So it's as easy as that. So we can see in here, I've got a few rows here. So I've got my user ID. I've got the workspace name, the data set name, if it's available for that record. We've also got workspace ID. And we've also got the data set ID and the connectivity mode, whether it's import, live connection, or what have you. At this point, then I can say close and load. And then my data is available inside of my report for me to use. If I go back into edit queries and we take a look at what's going on there, go into advanced editor, we can see here that we're actually doing a transform on the columns itself. And we're going and saying this audit data blob is actually a JSON document. And then after that, we are expanding those rows to the ones that we want. Pretty cool, huh? All right, what do you think? Is that really easy to do in terms of working with JSON? Go ahead and let me know down in the comments below if you thought this was easy or if you have an even better way of working with JSON or just something unique. Would love to hear it. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button 
And as always from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome. And we'll see you in the next video.